Public Service Week celebrations continued with a special retirees recognition ceremony atop Mount Fitzwilliam. Some 227 public service officers were honored at Government House. Hosted by Her Excellency, the Most Honorable Dean Marguerite Pindling, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and Chancellor of the Societies of Honors, the exercise was held to salute the 543 persons who retired from the public service during the 2016-2017 and 2017-2018 periods. The honorees included personnel from law enforcement and national security, accounting and finance, education, health, youth development, social services, civil aviation, the postal service, and many others. We are assembled here this morning to express our sincere gratitude and to show our appreciation to our distinguished retirees for their many contributions that they have made to the public service. Today's celebration is one of the many highlights of the 18th National Public Service Week of Activities, a time when we pause to acknowledge and recognize the accomplishments and of the, the accomplishments that have brought us to this point in our national development. Minister with Responsibility for the Public Service and National Insurance, the Honorable Brenzel Roll, said it was fitting to show gratitude for the many years of country above self that the honorees would have exemplified. We also take this opportunity to, to hail and salute those who have devoted their entire lives to the growth of our beautiful country. I'm talking about the retiring builders of our public service and builders of our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 years of doing anything is a great accomplishment. But giving more than 30 years in service to your country commands our attention and our deep respect. The honorees total years of service combined for over 4,000 service years and included postings from almost every area of the public sector. Retiree Ms. Dorothy Ward Johnson, trained teacher, gave remarks on behalf of the honorees. Honorees, this ceremony is indicative of the fact that the nation salutes us for a job well done. Over the years, immense contributions and many invaluable sacrifices were made for, we not only thought about ourselves, but the nation at large. A songwriter once wrote, and I quote, we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, end quote. This ceremony certainly is a testimony to that song. May our future be as bright as the star that we have been and our various organizations. I bid you God's speed as we go on to other pursuits in life. Yes, go confidently in the directions of your dreams. Honorees, may the God we serve continue to give us his choicest blessings. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. To God be all the glory for great things he has done. I'm Synovia Williams, and this has been a BIS Update.